today we are going to discuss about cranial nerves. Cranial nerves are a set of 12 paired nerves that arise directly from the brain. Depend on its function, they are divided into three. First is sensory or afferent nerves which carries information from outside world such as pain, heat, cold, etc. Motor or the efferent nerves which transmit impulses from brain and spinal cord to the muscles. Mixed are the ones which carries both sensory and motor function. So the first cranial nerve is olfactory nerve which is a sensory nerve which helps to sense smell. Second cranial nerve is optic nerve. It's a sensory nerve which helps in vision. Optic nerve which receive information from rod and cone cells of retina and helps in vision. The third cranial nerve is oculomotor. It's a mixed type of cranial nerve, mainly the motor function. It moves the eyeball and eyelid, adjusts the lens of the eye for the near vision and consists the pupils of the eye via motor fibers distributed to the muscles located in and around the eye. The fourth cranial nerve is trochlear nerve. It's a mixed type of cranial nerve, mainly the motor function. It helps in moving eyeballs by sending nerve symbols into the superior oblique muscles. That means the eyeball will move down and in. The action of this nerve is coordinated with the action of third and sixth cranial nerve. The fifth cranial nerve is a trigeminal nerve. It's a mixed type of cranial nerve. It helps in controlling the facial muscles including mastication. Mastication means it's a chewing. Along with this, it helps in sensation of touch, pain and temperature in the forehead. The sixth cranial nerve is obdescence. It is a mixed type of cranial nerve. It helps in movement of eyeballs side to side, the lateral movement of the eyeball. The seventh cranial nerve is facial nerve. It's a mixed type of cranial nerve which controls our smile or some of the facial expression. Along with that, the anterior portion of the taste buds are controlled by this nerve. The eighth cranial nerve is vestibular cochlea. It's a mixed type of cranial nerve. It helps in hearing as well as maintaining the equilibrium of the body. The ninth cranial nerve is glossopharyngeal. It's a mixed type of cranial nerve. It modulates saliving and it controls the secretions of saliva. It also helps in sensation of taste, touch, pain and temperature from posterior third of the tongue and tissue of the soft tongue. The tenth cranial nerve is vacuous nerve. It's a mixed type of cranial nerve. It helps in digestion defecation and also it can trigger reduction or slowing of the heart rate. The 11th cranial nerve is accessory. It also a mixed type of cranial nerve. It controls swallowing movement and governs the movement of the head and shoulders. The 12th cranial nerve is hypoglossal. It also a mixed type of cranial nerve. It helps in speech and swallowing. So how can we remember the name of this cranial nerve? For that you just want to remember a sentence. One of our trained teacher asks very good one at hospital. One of our trained teacher asks for very good one at hospital. One, optic, of, olfactory, our, oculomotor, train, trochlear, teacher, trigeminal, asked, Abdescence, four facial, very vestibular cochlear, good glossopharyngeal, van vagus, at accessory, hospital hypoglossal. So it's an easy way to remember the name of the cranial nerve.